Adobe has released a new tool on their labs. I'm just going to bring up the web page here called Adobe Air Launchpad. Now, if you're a developer on the Adobe Air platform, this tool is going to help you out a lot. This is a, just a fantastic idea. It's actually in beta one at the moment. Um, you can download it from the labs here at labs.adobe.com. Uh, you can go straight to the downloads at slash downloads slash air launchpad dot html and you can just scroll down here and like most air applications you can just click here to install now and it'll download and install and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hide the browser there now once it's installed and you run the application this is what you're going to see and what the application does it goes through and you answer a series of questions and it'll generate some code for you that you can import into say Adobe Flash Builder and it's going to save you a lot of time with those nasty configuration files if you've ever built an Adobe Air application you'll be familiar with having to tweak the XML file for things like icons and images and some of the features and turning off the Windows Chrome and frankly it's they make it you know it's harder to do than it needs to be so this tool is kind of a an answer for that and eventually what I'd love to see Adobe do is actually have this as kind of a template wizard within Flash Builder because I, I just think it's a perfect tool and they've done a really good job even at this early beta one stage. So I'm gonna walk you through it here and just quickly show you. So you answer these questions. So we're gonna start off by giving the application a name. I'm gonna call it test app and we're gonna give it a width of 700 pixels, a height of 500 pixels and you can put in a window title here and notice that if you hover over each of these it'll give you you know, a tooltip telling you what it is. So I'm actually going to change this and say my test application. You've got some checkboxes here, whether you want to allow the resizing of the window, minimizing, maximizing. Uh, the auto update is a nice one. Doing auto update on Adobe applications is a bit of a pain right now. And essentially it's going to stub out some code for you that'll allow your application to automatically update from a website, which is just, you know, I think it's a really good idea. Um, and this should greatly simplify the procedure. If I click on icons, it's going to bring these little boxes up here. And I have these two images on the desktop here. And what you can do is drag and drop onto each of these to actually have your application icons built in for you. If I drag this first file, you'll notice that when I drag and drop it over the 128 by 128 pixels box and let go, that image is actually the wrong size. And it's going to warn you and say, hey, you know, try again. You've got the wrong image there. Whereas this one here is 128 by 128 pixels. And when I drag and drop that on there, that's now set the icon for that size. So you can actually go through and set the icon for the other sizes at the same time. Moving down the list here, if you want to have an irregular shaped window, you can, you know, part of the application to be transparent, you would click on there. You can choose system Chrome or, you know, none. I'm going to have standard there. I'm going to click next. And this brings us down to the configuration. Now this is kind of a cool little section. If you're not familiar with a lot of the, you know, the framework and a lot of the classes and that in there, this will generate some code for you. For example, if I check on this checkbox here, what that's going to do now is when the application starts, it's going to automatically center it on the desktop for me. So I don't have to write code for that anymore. Um, again, you know, there's lots of other things here. You can have things like, you know, generate the code so that detect idle time, um, you know, handle close event when you've got this code here that'll be called when the application closes, just before it sort of closes. So if you've got to do any file saving, that kind of thing, you can just click on there. Uh, you've got other options here to detect network status change. You know, maybe you have an application that works with the cloud and just clicking on there is going to stub out the code for you to enable you to do that. Uh, same again, global error handler, uh, preferences file, native menu support and those kind of things. So for right now, I'm just going to have it sent to the application for me. So there's just some time savers there. I'll click next again. Now this section here is some sample code. Now what that's going to do is for each of these, it'll stub out some functions and give you example code that you can sort of work with and, and tweak to what you need it to do for each of the things like working with the local database, the SQLite database that is used with Adobe Air. Um, you know, how to use different lots of windows in your applications. Maybe you need to pop open another window or close them. Uh, maybe you're going to put a web browser in there. Well, if you click on this box here, it's going to add the HTML component to the stage for you, along with native processes, uh, you know, setting an application, default application, detect external storage devices, one of the new things in Adobe Air 2 there. 
uh, using sockets as a PDF display maybe you need to you know load the PDF file that's going to join the code for you and also for using the clipboard now I'm not going to use any of those right now um, well actually I tell you what let's let's do this let's click on HTML component just so we've got one in there and I'll click next again and now at the last part here it's going to say you know it's going to tell you what it's going to do it's going to generate a folder with code and a zip file that you can import into flash builder now if you click this option here create install badge what that's going to do is essentially if I just bring up the web browser here it makes one of these for you this this you know this graphic and the code that you can put on a website somewhere where the person can download by clicking install now to automatically download and install your Adobe Air application for you so that's a nice little feature so finally I'm going to give it a file location I'm just going to put this one here on my desktop and I'll just call this um, let's just put this in a folder and I'll call it test app and click select and now I'm going to say generate the air project and so that's going to generate the code for me there I'll just close that it's going to say it's done and now I'm going to close that application I'm going to go ahead now and switch over to Adobe Flash Builder 4 and I'm going to right click here in the package explorer and go import and I'm going to import an existing projects into workspace and click next I'm just going to browse through for the file and what I'm going to do here is on my desktop here under the folder where we saved it I have a desk test app dot zip and I'm going to go open I'm just going to leave everything else as it is and go finish and if you open it up here you'll see that it's just generated code that you'll be used to seeing if you've worked with you know flash builder before or flex and you've worked with Adobe Air applications I'll just open up a couple of folders here and show you under the samples here we have a, a sample html.mxml component that is created that's the browser component that we ticked in the checkbox for you may remember and if I go through and open up the default package we have main.mxml which of course is the, the main file and you can see that what it's done we have a tab here that has that component in it but what I'm going to do I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to quickly go through here and I'm just going to hit the play button and you can see that when it opens it up it centered the window for us on the desktop and it has also populated the sample code with the web browser here and just loaded up the Google Maps web page so and notice as well we have the my test application there as the the you know the we put the name in for the window I'm just gonna go ahead and close the application and now I'm gonna switch over to source code view here I'm just gonna close this so you can see it and so what it's done it's gone through and it's put in the code that we asked for you can see that these two lines of code here is they've commented the code for us and they've told us that because we put that checkbox into center the application window that's what it's gone ahead and done and it's just saved me typing those two lines of code but you know maybe you don't know the lines of code to put in there or the functions to call or the properties to set so it saves us a lot of time and then down here you know in the samples folder it's included our sample HTML component that it built for us in the samples namespace that it's added for us up here and it's also going to call the init function when the application starts so that's just a quick run through of I say it's just beta 1 at the moment but if you build Adobe Air applications I really recommend looking at it it's certainly something I'm going to be using I can see that especially having the sample stubbed out code and things like that that you can then go in and work with you know I mean I can go in here and open up this component that it built the sample HTML component and you can see the code that is populated for us including the URL and you know so we can go in there and very quickly just put in our code but they've stubbed out the basics for us it's well worth playing with uh, it's been pretty stable for me so you know download it from the labs.adobe.com and give it a go and remember if you want to see more videos and other con useful content you can either follow us on twitter at uibuzz or you can go to uibuzz.com and see the content there thank you